Hi, I'm Suzanne Matson, the author of The Power of Project Leadership. And it is actually the book that we're here to talk about in this video, because there is a new edition out, fully revised and updated with 20% new content. The original version came out in 2015. And the idea with the book was always to provide a comprehensive view of what good project leadership looks like and how project managers can make the transition. You see, most of the books out there focus on project management, but project leadership is so much more than the tools and the techniques. It is really about how we apply ourselves and how we empower the team around us. Of course, there is much more to it, but I think that's the crux of it. The whole backdrop for the book is that there is increased complexity. There is increased focus on budgets, on timelines, there is more competition, we have more stakeholders involved in our projects, we have global teams, we have technological change that is unprecedented, and we have team members who want to make a difference, who want to feel that their contributions really matter. What all of this means is that as a project manager, you must learn to lead and you can no longer rely on your own knowledge. So the Power Project Leadership always provided a comprehensive view of what it means to lead a project. And that's why it contains seven keys. Those seven keys really haven't changed between the two editions. They are be authentic, lead with vision, improve and innovate, empower the team, build trust with stakeholders, use powerful techniques, and lastly, work with intent. So some of the keys focus on yourself as a leader, being authentic, working with intent is more focused on you. Other keys focus on the team, on the stakeholders. Innovation is a big topic, especially if we want to stay ahead in this competitive environment. And techniques, as I said before, Leadership, of course, is not about the techniques, but we need the right techniques to make sure that we gain buy-in from the team members, that they are on board. It is their project, not just the project manager's project. Now, you might ask, how is the second edition different? What is that 20% you know, extra content I've included? And, well, let me tell you what's happened in the fi last five years since I wrote the first one, because I have continued to work as an independent project leadership coach, trainer, facilitator around the world for some large organizations and also for some smaller organizations. That means that my knowledge of project leadership has widened and deepened and I have got a better view now of what it is that project managers struggle with across the industries. And it is this knowledge that I have included in the second edition. So throughout the seven keys, I have included more information about emotional intelligence, which probably is the difference that makes the difference between project management and project leadership. I have also included more information about, in fact, information about the six different leadership styles, because for some reason that was never included in the first edition. I also go into more depth with coaching as a leadership style. I also look more in depth at how to overcome resistance to change by removing fear and uncertainty. Then there is uh, more in-depth information about the science behind high-performing teams. Very interesting to, to read that. And I'm also providing a new model which helps you as a project manager to have more let's say, in-depth conversations with a team member or a stakeholder. Because as project managers, we have a tendency to stay at a surface level in our conversations and talk about content or tasks or procedures. That's easy enough. But if we really want to lead, build relationships of trust and empower people, we need to get the conversation moving further down and that means we need to learn how to communicate about behaviors and about feelings. So that's an important addition. And then I've included some new powerful techniques. We've just said that project leadership is not about the techniques, but they are necessary. 
So the techniques I've included are, for instance, about collaborative planning. That's a step-by-step -step approach to how to not only plan a project, but really do it in, in true collaboration with the team so that we gain their buy-in. So because a project is the, it's a team's project, it's not just the project manager's project. I hope you're going to check out the book. And if you would like to read more, then go to the dedicated website on powerofprojectleadership.com. And of course, the book can also be purchased on Amazon. Thank you for watching and happy reading.